One of those victims was Montoya Givens from Detroit. We spoke with his mom today and she tells us they're really in the dark about this investigation, especially why her son was targeted here. I feel numb right now. Could Tina Fogel too nervous about her safety to talk anywhere but on the phone to us? That's because she doesn't know why her son, 31 year old Montoya Givens, was killed. He just gotten out of prison for carjacking and robbing well known Detroit pastor Marvin Winitz back in 2012, seen here in one of our original stories of the case. 10 years of my son's life was taken away from me. Then I get him back for 10 months and he did. How am I supposed to feel? Prison is where Givens met the other victims, Armani Kelly and Dante Wicker, the trio aspiring to become rappers. Mom Katina says she was just getting to know her son again, who wanted a fresh start out of life. He's a very jokingly funny guy. He a little, like, he one of them funny people. The trio was missing for two weeks, last seen in January, all together on the way to a gig at Lounge 31 on Detroit's east side. It was canceled last minute. Then last week, their bodies were discovered under debris in the basement at this abandoned apartment building in Highland Park. A 15-year-old boy has been charged after getting caught with Armani Kelly's car in Warren, and sources tell Fox 2 last week a Highland Park man was arrested in Knoxville, Tennessee on separate charges, but is wanted for questioning in this triple murder. What I say is you reap what you sow. What goes around comes around. Because at some point, what you did is going to eat at you. Michigan State Police are heading up the investigation. They have not indicated anything on motive here and say the investigation is heading in the right direction. Reporting in Highland Park, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.